Hey everybody, this is Russ Carson Jr., one of the genealogists here at Family Tree Nuts, and I'm in Mount Sterling, Kentucky, and I'm with local high school history teacher, uh, Allison Whaley, and she's taking me to a very historic spot here, so go ahead and tell us about it. All right, so we are standing where an ancient Indian burial ground used to be. Um, it's what our town is actually named for. Uh, Little Mount is uh, the original title of our town, or Little Mountain. And it's now Mount Sterling. Mount Sterling. But, uh, mm -hmm. I think you said, and, and, and right here at this location, you said there was a, a, a Indian mound. Very large, yes, around 2,000 years old. And uh, the way the Adena culture was, they would, uh, in these large barrow mounds, they got large because layer by layer, they were burying uh, the bodies. And when they excavated this area in around 1845, they found complete intact skeletons wow. um, of, of the Native Americans and um, found lots of their artifacts as well. Arrowheads, there was copper, marble, shells, things that they would have used. Wow, wow, and we don't know where those things are now. We don't. So. How, how big was the mound, you say? Uh, 25 feet high and 125 feet in diameter. That, that's a big Indian mound. I've seen lots of Indian mounds Very in my large. time, but that's two and a half stories tall, so it was a big Indian mound. And the, the, the area was, uh, uh, it was actually a landmark, I guess, for, for navigation right. for early Kentucky settlers right. uh, that came to the area. And we're right on the, what are we probably, about a half a mile from right at the center of town? Yeah, so we are right uh, near the corner of Locust and Queen Street um, on what is now called the Adena Trail. It's an area that our uh, downtown is trying to revitalize and we run our farmer's market back down here this summer. Tornado Alley. <laughs> <laughs> windy. Right, so, and, it, and right now it's completely flat, and we've got some shots that we're showing you right now of the area itself. Uh, it's just a flat and industrial, but uh, uh, one time it was a very historic landmark here. And I think, what, what year did the, did the mound get tore down? 1845. 1845, what did they tear? They tore it down for what? They excavated the area to build a home, which <laughs> is also no longer here. Yeah, that makes me sick to my stomach to think about that, because what a wonderful thing that would be. I've got some shots here too that we're putting on here, and Allison's standing in front of a, uh, another mound they've got here in town. And most people think that was the, uh, the actual mound, that, that was Mount Sterling, that right. it was named for. Right. Yeah, it's right on the edge of our bypass, or Indian Mound Drive, as we call it, and uh, it's a very large, intact Indian Mound, uh, and, and what most of us think is kind of uh, represents the landmark of this area. Uh, honestly, I've always told my family that that was <laughs> that's Mount Sterling yeah, that's right it. there. So, but in reality, it's right here on this flat spot. So, anyway, uh, just want to take you to this neat spot uh, here where the, the famous Indian Mound was that uh, Mount Sterling is named for, and. Uh, uh, remember, family tree nuts. Let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree.